Welcome back to Matt tomorrow. So today we're going to be continuing some trigonometry. So we'll just hop right in. So we're given a function here. Um, f of x is equal to this. 5 halves minus 1 half 10. 3x minus pi. And <coughs> uh, we have to find the vertical shift, the phase shift, the period, and the frequency here. So let's start. So how do we find the vertical shift? So in order to find the vertical shift, um, and that's really easy, right? That is uh, the change that the uh, that is on the um, y here, which is 5 halves, right? It's positive 5 halves because there's no sign on the 5 over 2 here. So we know that the vertical shift is 5 halves, right? So it's going to go up 5 halves. Um, uh, what is our phase shift? So the phase shift is nothing but the um, the transformation. Uh, I mean, sorry, not the trans The um, shift on the x on the x here. So whenever we want to find that, you might think that it's pi here, but whenever you want to find that, it has to always be a uh, factor. So it would be negative one half tan of three times x minus pi over three. That's actually how you'd write it, plus five halves. Because you have to always make sure to factor out the three um, just so that you can be, um, uh, you know, you can be consistent with how you um, solve it for the x, like when you want to find the period and when you want to find the phase shift. So the phase shift here is um, pi over three because Everything is opposite in the x, right? So well, here it's uh, multiplied by 3, but it'll actually be 1 third. You'll see that soon. And uh, uh, this is supposed to be, um, this is going to be positive, right? Because so, since it's negative, it's going to be actually moving to the right. So it's positive. What is our period here? So that's going to be um, that whatever the changes on the x times the um, normal period, which is pi, right? Pi is the normal period for 10, but it's going to be that times 1, 1 over 3, which is equal to pi over 3. Right, let me erase that. So our period here is pi over 3. And our frequency is going to be 3 over pi because it's always the reciprocal of that. So thank you. Hope you learned something. And I'll see you in the next video.